What's up YouTube, Ian Sandusky back here again for Let's Machine. Today, we're gonna do a little tool tip, and that's why set up one part when you can set up two. Um, pretty basic stuff. This is just a way that we use to get more parts done when we're doing a production. Um, this is kind of an intermediary, intermediate step between, uh, or an intermediary, between setting up full fixturing and just using JAWS. This is kind of a way we have, you know, for doing medium to small production run stuff, you know, where running parts two at a time is better than running them one at a time, but we're not doing enough to invest, you know, in running them 10 at a time, or it just doesn't make sense to do them 30 at a time, whatever it may be. Um, these are kind of little things you learn as you go along. Obviously, you know, if we had the point where we were doing thousands of these uh, in a run, we would probably change the fixture. This is just one way to do it, okay? Really basic stuff. Let's go take a look and uh, let's see if we can do something that'll be helpful today, okay? Let's go. So we're gonna be running inside the VF2 this morning, as you can see here with my excellent camera work. Now here are the two parts we're running. They're just two little steel blocks, so you can get milled to size on both ends, uh, not all the way down on the second side, and get some drilled holes with counter bores. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these step jaws that we have with a uh, tapped hole in the top. In the center, we're gonna have a very precision stop that we make that uh, is dead center in, this, in the middle of that. Um, if it's off a little bit, it doesn't really matter because the length is what matters, and it's gonna overhang both ends. So you can see, when we put in two parts here, I'm gonna reload this now. So when I take my D-bird blocks, you're gonna see here there's a, there's a couple parts already in it. I'm gonna pull these parts out. Get my new D-bird parts, put them in. These are just little steel blocks. Uh, regular old C18 or 1018 cold roll steel. These are gonna pop in. Push them up against the stop on both ends. And as always, because these are steel jaws with steel parts, after I crank it down in my nice Curt DX9 crossover vise, we are going to hit it with a hammer to make sure it goes down. Now, because uh, those two parts, uh, I picked up the center of that vise um, in both directions, so we know it's going to be the center both in the X and the Y. Now the part can run. So here we go, I'm just gonna run the program here for you. Um, I'm just gonna let this run out and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see. So this is a real good way of doing two parts at a time uh, as opposed to just putting a stop on one end and running parts in the center of the vise or hanging it out. Um, very easy to do. Uh, we have a few different stops of different sizes so we can run different parts this way. So uh, yeah, feel free to invest in making some jaws this way. These are not off the shelf jaws, we actually had to make these. So if you are interested, um, obviously feel free, make sure you harden them and make sure you grind them. So there you have it guys, like I said, real quick basic stuff today. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Obviously if you guys have ways that you like to do this and you'd like to explain them in the comments, please, please do. Uh, I love reading all the comments on here. Uh, one of my favorite things is waking up in the morning looking at my phone and seeing uh, a bunch of notifications for people commenting on the videos. I think it's super cool to get the discussions going on that, okay? Uh, if you want to see more videos, make sure you like and subscribe below. Thanks always for watching guys, you take care.